Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's Harlan here at Family RC. So I was looking for some parts for my son's little brushed, brushed wholesome truck, and I noticed that wholesome has quietly released a new truck, and they call it one eighth scale. At the time of recording this, there's an eighty dollar off coupon on Amazon. I put a link in the description for you guys. So this new one eighth scale's got my attention. However, we know sizes run a little small for the budget car, so this may look closer to a true 110 scale, but this still has the potential to be pretty impressive for the price. We'll cover size more in a moment. So let's go over some of the details here. It claims to do 80 kilometers an hour on that 3S system, which is pushing 50 miles an hour, uh, roughly. Um, the model number for this is the X17-G, but they also call it the Venom. Um, Holson gets some of their vehicles from the same places, such as Legendary or Hypergo. So you should be able to expect other variants to hit the market down the road, which is great for parts availability. For power, it has a waterproof 85 amp ESC with a fan on it, and it has a waterproof 3650 size 2800 kV brushless motor with a heat sink. And this kit includes a 2600 milliamp hour 3S battery, which they claim will give you 40 minutes of runtime. And I mean, pretty, they've been pretty good about run times. So I will give them that. All right, so, you know, looking around, let's go ahead and head over here to Amazon. <clears throat> and you'll notice right off the jump that they have a legendary advertisement, even though I, I searched wholesome. So if you look over here, you'll notice the $80 uh, dollar off coupon. Hopefully that's still up for you guys. As I poke around here. So it looks like it has an all metal drive line. Metal CVDs, drive shafts, and gearing, along with aluminum chassis, adjustable pull rods, and all metal oil filled shocks. Also, what I'm noticing is it looks like it has two metal chassis braces over what looks like a center diff. Also, it looks like it has aluminum A arms and shock towers as well. Hmm. <clears throat> it looks like everything that's major is aluminum except for the diff housings so we'll poke around uh, I mean as and I oh yeah there's an LED light in the uh, bump as well um, as we poke around here okay so I see this little knob I'm not sure what it means I'm hoping that means you can turn down the power if you're a beginner or handing it to a beginner so if we look at it, it says it's about 12 inches wide and almost 20 inches long so for reference, we have the two-wheel drive Rustler, which is roughly slightly over 11 inches wide. Well, it's actually 12 inches wide. And we're just gonna go from back tire, because that's what it looks like they did. And it's 15 inches, or just slightly over. So that truck's gonna be closer to this size, whereas this is also 10 scale. And as you can see, it is quite a bit smaller than this eight scale. And this one sits at about 16 inches wide and roughly 19 inches long. Or, well, let's see, 18, 18 inches long if you're just going from the end of the wheel. So it'll be a, an inch longer than this truck, but, an in, but a little bit narrower than this truck. So this is the 1 8 scale. I could also brought down a sledge, I guess, but sorry. Um, we notice that this one sits at closer to 21 inches, and I guess you know this ain't end of chassis to end of chassis, but 20 close to 21 inches, and then width, width here is roughly 19 inches. So the width here is the length of that vehicle altogether. So when they say 1/8 scale, we knew it was going to be smaller, but it's actually a good sized vehicle. It's closer to the size of the Max, which you know that's it, that's a big 1/10 scale. So but it would be a very small 1 8 scale, at least compared to these rigs. So this is everything that you get. So what do you guys think? Do you think it's going to be a good vehicle? Do you think it'll be uh, worth, you know, your precious pennies? I mean, it seems like a pretty solid looking rig. Um, I'm not sure exactly what everything that's included. I mean, like the optical, I don't know what four optical axes are, but I understand the battery straps, the body clips and things like that. Anyway, let me know what you guys are thinking. Comment down below. Um, if you want to check it out, I left the link 
uh, to Hosum's website, but there's actually more information on Amazon's website, and plus you get the $80 off if you do, you know, you do decide to check it out. I guess you can always send it back if you don't like it. Amazon's pretty flexible with return warrant, <laughs> a return policy. But again, um, I was pretty excited about it. It's new. Um, I don't know if I'll get a chance to get my hands on it with all the other projects we got going on, but just want to thank you for your time. Let me know what you think. Please like, subscribe, share, and uh, until next time, it's been, uh, it's been fun.